Hello everybody, and welcome back to the shop. Ten more prime time action field air con heater noise. Prime time Thunder Chief field in action. Excitement. Without the drama. Hey James, what's up? Hey Carrie, how you doing? Big old shout out to Carrie, James' girlfriend. What's up? Thanks for letting James watch Set Bob TV. Hey, I got an idea too. How about making us some cookies? <laughs> Sorry about that. The things I find funny sometimes. <laughs> Alright. Well, now what I'm doing here, I've been kind of piddling on this all day. Getting this far bent, this aluminum one. Getting all this cut from my patterns. All my patterns are good. I ain't really had to change a whole lot. I just had to uh, cut it from wood. I got my uh, aluminum. This is 3 16 aluminum spar. This got that little 5 degree bend in it. Got it bolted to that piece of wood good. Bam! Locked tight of them bolts. Drill them and just uh, tap these. Ran them in there and uh, got all this ready to go. I'm up. I'm still a building. I'm still a building this framework. I got it pretty close to being done. This is going to be my hinge block. And you know, I've been thinking about something. This big old flap and this angle down here. It's going to be. Uh, no, I could bet I can fold it down and get them hinges in there. I've been kind of worried about getting the hinges in themselves. And, you know, I think I've got an idea. Yeah, you know how sometimes it's just like a flashlight goes off in the old noggin. <laughs> but I'm getting this all framed up. All my patterns are good. And once I kind of got this framework done, I uh, had to kind of bolt it together, you know, so I can get it in the exact same place. Come over here and cut all this out. You know, this foam stuck pretty good. This foam turned out awesome. You know, we just wanted to take the floppiness out. Because, uh, you know, just one layer of carbon, one layer of four ounce. You know, that's not a little thick surface. That would be real floppy without this foam. But, you know, that's the purpose of it. We kind of made an I-beam, you know, out of some floppy material. We kind of made an I-beam. You know, so, you know, this is a good description. You know, you can take that aluminum and flop it around, but when you add it all like that, you know, it's a lot stronger. That's our point there. And uh, oh, hey James, that resin, 2108, man, I get that at Associated Industries. There's a site, uh, we got a link on our website, uh, Associated Industries, they mail it, they sell this stuff in gallons, I think they even got it in quarts, uh, but they'll ship. And uh, that's, the, that's the clear resin, that's what I like the best. Uh, it ain't bad. They got a good price on it. Tell them B1 Bob to you. And, uh, they'll hook you up. Uh, but what I've been doing here, it's got to just been doing one piece at a time. Uh, I'm doing my exact Okay. I ain't gonna go. Now what I got to do is cut out this foam for this, this is what I'm going to hinge to in the back. That's eighth inch plywood and uh, half inch balsa. I'm going to put it right back there in the back. So I got to do this stuff.
Bam. It's bam, you said. Someone said, I say bam too much. <laughs> <laughs> well, could be worse. I could be out drinking. You guys watching this thing? You guys watching? You know, cutting this out. So, so now I just, uh, I've been using that l a little screwdriver for uh, them little areas. It comes right out. It stuck pretty good, but you know it is just dark, so I have a pit in an area this big. See that stuck pretty good, man. But this will even help that my glue joints. You know, with these uh, counter sunk like this, man, that I beam I was telling you about is also going to be like this wing, you know. When you just add that structure and you got good glue joints, and the, you know, and carbon skins, man, you're talking. We can dig these bad boys out the ground and use them again. <laughs> They're gonna be tough, man. These old wings ain't gonna come flying apart in the air. No. I'd almost bet money that that does not happen. <laughs> it's gonna be tough, full set of wings. Shouldn't weigh too much either, you know. I'm not putting a lot of big beef in it, except for this right here. You know, that's kind of big and beefy, but uh, everything else is just a, a good combination of lightweight stuff. And uh, hope it works out the way I got it planned. <laughs> When I cut that out, I, I, uh, this, I got this off my template, then I glued that ball saw on there, and I uh, beveled the blade on the saw a couple of degrees and got that bevel on both sides, so we get a, just an awesome glue joint, man. That's what we want. You know, that's where you get your strength. You know, you don't get your strength from when you pile that epoxy on and it's way out here and all everywhere that you don't get no strength from that you know it's all in the joint you know bam that goes just like that put it back together here you now we're building this one right or right side up actually with the gear in the bottom so i got to make sure and get these gear turned out right so we got my gear doors on the right side can't really see them. You can feel them in there. You can still feel them. Just can't see them. Okay, and my main spar is going to go in there. So you got all that glue dug. And man, this is all going to glue really good, man. I'm going to glue that with my cotton flock paste. Very little uh, 